Okay, here we are. Timu haul time again. Not too many packages are going to come uh, in the future. Um, because there's no, okay, there's just no sense in ordering anything more if I'm not going to be able to see. Anyway, three packages here. One package has taken 34 days to get to me. 34. I bought it, didn't check, but it had to be shipped by boat here. And so, yeah, uh, it's, it took three weeks um, by sea, about two and a half actually. Part of the time, the stuff sat and waited to get onto that ship. Uh, then it, it finally made it onto the ship and then it made it here. And then it sat for a week before anybody decided to get it moving again towards me. So 34 days in total. Uh, the other two packages, they're two different orders, but one package has two freebies in it. So I'm going to set these aside and we're going to get to the 34 day voyage package. Okay, what's in a 34-day voyage package? And the funny thing is, is I found the very same thing on Timu, and it didn't have to go by ship. They claimed that it was by weight because of the weight. Well, I'm not too sure about that. If other sellers can, excuse me, <coughs> can sell a product and the same product and still have it shipped within the two week period. So let's get it opened here. This is meant to help me get videos done better. As you can see, let's see, which way is that camera? Oh, that angle is so bad. This is a tablet stand or phone holder. Um, I got it upside down, sorry. Floor type. And that was taped good here. Three poles. Spring arm. Open it up, it can't get it closed, right? It's got a huge ball. This is for holding your phone or tablet. So I'm gonna see. Oh, that's never going to hold my tablet. <laughs> and it's very flimsy feeling. Very, very flimsy. Only one end opens up. And that's where it attaches to that ball. This is the floor stand. Here. And this here is a sticky back. Then it just goes on here so that when it's on the floor, your floor isn't getting scratched up by the metal plate. All right, I'm going to put this back in the box. All right, let me set this aside. Now, I'm going to leave the bigger package for last 
because I'm afraid of the condition of the items I purchase because I know that plastic items do not fare very well in shipping this way. And I've had many, many, many broken items I've had to get refunds on and return and all of that. So I don't want to see its condition, th their condition, until I'm ready. <laughs> and here we have more Halloween decorations. I just hope... I don't have too many by the time I get everything ready to put up. They do come with batteries because they have a pull tab. Those are pretty cool. And these are just plastic inserts. So I'm sure you can actually um, probably pull this apart and change them. I'll have to check that out. So it's like a little x-ray vision here. Okay, that switch is turned off. Let's see what this one has all the way around. And yes, so sold as a set of three. They're definitely cheap plastic. But, you know, everything for Halloween these days is. Got that one. That one. A sugar skull. And not too sure what all that is, but... Okay, so they all three work. That's good enough. And I'm doing this without my assistant. He's still at work. But I need to get these things out of the way so I can get day 11 done. Um, one piece. Okay. This is a lantern, a fireplace lantern. against the black background. You know, when I bought this, I thought it was something slightly different, but, because they did call it a fireplace. Well, that's not a fireplace, that's a lantern. Oh my gosh, these are really, oh my gosh. The, oh no. I'm telling you, folks. Don't buy anything that does not have a size on it, okay? Because they will portray them as much larger products. Like they did these. Okay. This is what they are. Let me get them all the way out of here. Okay, we have kind of a Jack Skellington face from Nightmare Before Christmas. This face. This one. Really should probably bring these up. So we have this face. This face. That face. We have this one. 
that one. And that one. Some of them are real close to each other, but... All right, let's just test and see. Color changing lights. That's at least what it's supposed to be. I'll test each one later, but we know this one works. All right, let me put them back in here. Oh, I don't need the plastic bag. I'll just stick these out of the way. And then for Christmas, we have some stencils. They're reusable. There's three pieces in here. Sorry, I'm having a few problems today. My daughter was in the path of Hurricane Milton. And at the last moment, before it could get to her, it veered. She got a lot of the bad winds. Some of her property that she's living in, her rental was damaged. Now these are for silk screening. And they are on a um, sticky back. Anyway, she got a hold of me yesterday to let me know that their electricity had already gone out. And that was um, in the morning hours. And their electricity is still out. Uh, I think she forgot she could charge her phone in the vehicle. So I made sure she remembered to do that. And nobody was injured, at least. Water is still running at this point. But in these kinds of situations, we know that that can change very quickly. And so I made her promise to fill a bunch of pans and jugs and bottles and jars and whatever else with water in case the water gets contaminated, because that's always a possibility. So yes, there was slight damage to her property, the property that um, she's renting. Uh, she's got kind of a windbreak behind her from the west, so she was safe from most of the big, horrible winds. But they were pretty severe still. So yes, she lives in Florida. Oh, okay, I know what these are. They're plastic sheets. There's a blue, a red, and a yellow. Should be another set of these in there. There it is. Should be the same colors, but nope, I forgot. So we have a lovely purple. Okay, what is this one? Does it say three sheets? Yeah, red, yellow, blue. And this one is purple. It's pretty purple. We have a green, another blue, another yellow, and red. To all of you people in Florida that were in the path of this hurricane, I hope you fared as well as my daughter did. For those of you who didn't, 
I can only say one thing. I am so sorry. I've lived through hurricanes myself when I lived in Texas. And one was pretty bad one year that they it ended up taking the um, two killer whales that SeaWorld had down there out of their tank. And they swam away. Hurricanes are horrible little things. Can't say little because, boy, they can cause so much damage. And another set of silk screens. I just hope that there's not as much damage and people injured or gone. I don't keep up on TV with the news because I just don't believe in TV anymore. It's a propagandist crap and just not, there's nothing of value to watch. Not even the news. So I get information from videos of people in the affected areas. So we have this Merry Christmas. And then we have this sheet with all of those on it. I like them real thick and sprucey. That's cute. Yeah, me too. I love real Christmas trees. I just can't have one because I'm allergic to them. So I have an artificial tree. I have two of them. One's a four foot and one's a six foot. They're both white. That way I, well, I live in snow country and pretty much most of every year that I've been here, it has been snowy and snow covered everywhere. Okay, I can't get this to go in. So I'll just set it aside and do it later. This is what I was looking for. How do I open it? There it is. And forgive me, but I don't remember if it was Fiona from Our Crazy Life Scotland that I seen it on or Marva's Marvelous Artsy. Um, but it's a fireplace. It's a miniature fireplace. Wow, static is built up badly. Isn't that cute? But I have plans for that. Okay, I'm going to set that aside because that's going to be used very soon here. Okay. Christmas stickers. And now I don't believe these are PET. It just says Rainbow Festival. No, not PET. Okay, let's get them where you can see them. Okay, so there's two sheets of that. Oh, it's a sticker kit. That's right. So there's this paper. Holy cow. Paper and plastic, bane of my existence. This one. Oh, I like that. I love that a lot. Ornaments. Apparently I have that upside down. Look at the kitten. Isn't that adorable? Oh, um, news about Salem. He's been sick for three days now. On and off fever, sniffles. I don't know what's going on. He will be seeing the vet on Monday. And hopefully it's nothing serious and no feline disease that, you know, can't be cured. I'm thinking that when my husband gave him his last bath because his rear end was so bad, I'm thinking that he wasn't paying too close attention and Salem kind of inhaled water. Which would mean that he would probably get pneumonia. From that kind of thing so some antibiotics would work along with some steroids for that those are beautiful papers I love that let 
and they look like they're about a five and a half by five and a half, which they of course call six by six. So yes, I will keep you informed on whether Salem is going to be okay or not. He does have me a little scared because the first two days he was very lethargic, wouldn't move, barely ate, barely drank, went to the bathroom, and uh, that was it. He'd sleep and sleep and sleep and sneeze, of course. Not really sneeze, just blowing his nose. And another set of the silk screens. Candy cane wishes, mistletoe kisses, chilling with my snowies. Dear Santa, stop here. We have cookies. All right, I don't know what the blank she is for. Oh, I thought there were more in there, but okay. I'll have to recheck my orders. I do know that um, as far as the hurricane goes, they were not hit as hard as the Carolinas were. So that's really good for Floridians. And I just wish somebody would do something about helping the people in the Carolinas. Well, I shouldn't say somebody, I wish the government would. We pay our taxes, they paid their taxes, and it's time we stop giving to everybody else and start taking care of our own. Okay, this is what was in there. Silk screen stencils. Showed you how to peel off the stickering back, how to place it down, etc. It is really kind of self-explanatory, but it doesn't explain what that blank plastic is. All right, yes, there's a mold here, and it's Christmas. And, of course, everybody knows these are matte molds, right? Um, looks like it's Rudolph, some gifts, and a really fancy Christmas tree or bush. And I want to bring up something about Twisted Anomaly Arts. Everybody um, that's paid any attention or ha that knows her um, knows that her husband passed away in July, July 15th. She's had a very rough go of things since then as well. Um, she was also in the path of the first hurricane. Um, she fared okay that way, but... Um, Wednesday the 2nd, she was in an auto accident. And uh, she was hospitalized. She got out. I think I remember talking to her yesterday, yes. And so she was in there for a week. This is a wall sticker. It's in parts and pieces because they don't print, have printers that are capable, I guess, of doing whole. But she, um, she was hurt pretty bad. And uh, maybe if you feel kind, go over to her channel and maybe post on her last um, video. You know, say hi, give her well wishes. She didn't deserve to have all this go on, and all at once. It's pretty bad. Oh. And yes, Twisted. Love you. 
We'd like to see you get back to your crafting as soon as you can, hon. Maybe just pop on and say hi to everybody and let everybody know how you're doing, dear. Aren't these pretty? Too bad they're flat. But I think I can shake it out of them. But Halloween, of course. They have some weird sickly smell to them. And I mean, you know, the smell that's in a room when somebody gets sick and tosses their cookies and it sits rancid. Oh no, it's a bad smell. Okay, these, there should be two more rolls in there, are PET stickers like washi tape. And this one says blue flower. Very descriptive. I won't unroll it because I have the dickens of a time getting them back in, but I'll unroll it in the future when I use it. It's got fishies. Just trying to figure out the orientation. Don't know. But what I do with these here, so that I can have a quick look, you see, is I just curl them up like this and pop them inside. Okay. Oh, well, anyway, I'll find them. More Christmas molds. Sorry, this is probably going to be a little bit long. We have a house and tree. And very intricated. Intricated. Hey, could be a word. People make up words all the time these days. I like this one. I wanted this so bad the moment I saw it. Sorry, my throat's going out again. It says I need some water, so I'm going to take a break after this to get some water. Lamp posts and um, hanging lantern right there. And yes, they've got flowers on them. All right, give me one second. I'm going to take a sip of water. Halloween. Ooh. I don't have a whole lot of room on my desk these days because I have my witch in the bathtub. I have my broken ghoul, phantom, and I have this cool thing that I found in Family Dollar the last time I got to get out and go, I like it. It says spooky. It's got a little school on it. Cork, and by the way, the cork does come out. The bat wings move. All right, back into Timu here. Ah, yes, I've been waiting for these. 72 pre-sharpened pigment-packed metallic pencils in assorted shades. So let's open one end of this. Okay. It's supposed to be in the case, but I doubt it's going to be. Yeah, didn't 
think so. This is the type of case. This is just plastic holding them in. So let's take a look at them anyway. <clears throat> I do like how they have them shade coordinated. And I bought these for those coloring books I bought. All right, I'll set these aside too because I'm going to have to find something to actually put them in now so I don't break them or lose them. Oh, we're at the end of this one. Can't remember. Okay, maybe this isn't the package with the free items in it. I don't think so. Nope. Oh. All right, this is a set of three cloth ribbons, kind of cloth. And as you can see, hopefully, these are maple leaves. Of course, they got here a little bit late for my fall, but I'm still going to make a couple of fall ones because, or autumn, because, well, that's the way it goes, right? All right, here's the package that I'm afraid of because of plastic in it. Like I said, too many things have come in damaged. And I can pretty much tell that the ones that are in here can't possibly be what I ordered. But I'll get to them as soon as I get through the top of the stuff here. Okay. Yeah, this is the bag with the free items. I'll set the one free item aside for a minute. That box don't look healthy. All right, I'm gonna get this bag out of my way. And I'll bring it up from the floor area. Oh yeah, they're definitely not what I ordered. I'm just trying to pack everything up onto the table. Okay, now else in the bag. All right, inspection time so that you guys don't have to hear me go and scream over broken items. <clears throat> so far, that my old eyes can see so good. Wow. You're telling me not one of these has got a broken corner or a chip out of it or something? Oh, come on. Don't disappoint me. Be broken. <laughs> Gotta have something to complain about, don't I? I know that's why my channel sun has sunk in views on my videos, but whatever. Too much of my life has been exposed. All right, so I'm 
this is what I was expecting to be broken, but you see the size of this. Um, it's not very large. Uh, these were supposed to be really big to put things in. So I bought four of them. So I guess I can stick some certain things in there. Hey, maybe that'd be good enough for those squishy molds that don't like to stand up. What do you think? Get those out of the way. So I got a place to put my arm. And then one more sip of water. My mouth just dried out like crazy. I'm sorry. I'm taking so long. Okay, next. This one. That's going to be a pain in the rear to try to show you. Okay, as you already saw, this is a Christmas coloring book. This is scary, isn't it? When a box looks like this. And it says reindeer sculpture, Christmas decor. It is in styrofoam. Sorry, struggling to get it out. It's in styrofoam. Let's find out. Okay. Maybe they made it. I'll show you a small one first. This has got like hair things sticking off of it. See the baby deer? The fawn? Not greatly well made. I'll say that. But... It is cute. It's got the little spots for the fawn on it. It does stand. And yes, this is going to be part of Christmas. And then they've got the mail. That's pretty awesome. So that's the size of the male. Here's the fawn. That's how you can see what size they are. Let me get them over into the darker area. There you are. I'm going to go ahead and put these in the plastic, but um, not back in that awful um, styrofoam. Now we'll put them down in my drawer real quick so they don't get damaged. Okay, next. Um, odd. Oh no, good, awesome. This is 10 pieces of, and this is a freebie. Well, you know, playing fish land all the time. You know, uh, there's a turtle you gotta feed. Well, one of these freebies is from the turtle. And these are like those big magnets that snap my thumb off. So they've got these little holes in the center so you can take a screw and screw them onto something. <laughs> I move my fingers now. Awesome. And that's the perfect size for some of the stuff I need to do. And then here's the other freebie. It's a family. Let me move these out of the way. Of polar bears. So we have this bear. We have this bear and this bear. It's either bitty bitty baby bear and this bear 
and we have this bear. Awesome. He's so cute. I'm too bad they're smaller than the deer. Would have been nice as a scenery for, you know, nature. But they're awesome. I like them. All right, next. We're almost done. Don't know what's in that yet. Let's find out what's in this plasticky thing. Ooh, this is my 10 piece. Whoops. And heads will roll. I believe they all have the same facial design. They do. But those are great. I like them. I have a pack of 40 more coming. Because, yes, I have plans. And if I can remember what they are by the time that everything gets here, it'll be a miracle. This here, this is another window clean type of thing, wall clean. Um, I can feel it. There it is. And this should be Santa and his reindeer. And it is. It's two pieces. And you have to match them up. And as it shows, two in one. Oops. Did I get it? Uh, yeah, I think I got it. There we go. I do like that they roll these up instead of fold them. Because too many come in folded and of course you never get those creases out. And last item. Well, not last item. There's still this over here. And another set of 72 metallic pencils. I got two. Okay. So, maybe this one's in a case. Doesn't sound like it. Uh-oh. There we go. Sorry. Oh, yeah, it's not even close to the last. Sorry. I still have some things that piled up on the other side of me. Okay, let's see how these fared out. Oh, my gosh. It's not taped, and I still am having troubles. Yeah. In order to show you these, I have to take them out. So I'm just going to um, show you a representation of them. Maybe. And this looks like the very same pencil from the other kit. Anyway, I now have two sets. So that should be plenty enough to get through my colorings. All right, next. I believe this is a repeat set of st stickers I got. DTF stickers, I believe they are. And this says Snowman. This is for like wrap around on coffee mugs. Oh my gosh. go and yes I do believe they are a repeat because I know I liked the one so much that I did want to purchase a second one
And you know what's really odd is today I was looking through Timu and I found these exact ones as uh, iron-ons for uh, t-shirts and, and sweaters and sweatshirts. So, well gosh, now I'm going to have to put all eight of them in my cart instead of just the three I liked the most. And I guess I'm going to have to put more sweatshirts in. Hoodies. Okay. I'm going to try and attempt getting this opened here for you. So you can at least see, so, somewhat see what this is. Because this is for my Christmas, um, feeling like it's Christmas type of thing. Okay, this is just going to be too large. I'm going to go ahead and pop a picture in um, from Timu itself so that you can see what it looks like. It's just too large to deal with on this little table. Okay, let me take a sip and we'll get to the last items. Okay, I think I ran out of water. I'll be right back. All right, last three items. I already opened them, so it's less noise. Somewhat. This is Santa and a Snowman. It is a shiny mold, and I will be very happy to be able to get to this one. Then we have to go with that other lamp post one. This larger one. However, you might even see these in um, a Halloween one. Well, I had this open. Sorry. And very intricate Santa. All right, that is the last of this haul. Um, there is more coming, but not for another week or two. Because I'm only doing one order a week right now, and uh, mostly because I don't want to spend any money. So I'm doing it off of the claim credit thing. And they used to do it, uh, it you have to collect your money, your, your credit back, uh, every single day for seven days. Just don't miss it or you miss out. Um, on your credits. So uh, they used to allow you three times going at the same time. And I guess, and that was up to $60.50, depending on how much you spent to get your credit back. Uh, so um, they switched it now. Now you only get five, uh, $50 in credit back and only once. One can be running at a time. So I'm trying not to spend any of cash at all in order to uh, save for my eyes. And um, for all those of you that have been concerned, yes, I've been down in the dumps because my eye is, my left eye is starting to go just as bad as my right eye. And I am afraid I'm not gonna be able to get all of this 31 days done and the 25 days of Christmas. Um, I'm not completely afraid of going blind, but I won't be able to craft anymore. Um, and watching TV will be useless because my imagination isn't that great. I couldn't tell what was what would be going on in any movie, um, unless it's movies I've watched a thousand times over. And then, well, they're pretty much committed to memory by now. Um, I'm more afraid of the fact that uh, my animals really depend on me. My husband's not so good at making sure that they're fed, or um, if they get ill, he doesn't pay attention to that. Um, I don't know what's up with that with him, but it's like with me, he shows no concern, um, at all whatsoever about, um, my going blind or anything else. Uh, and so I have to depend on myself alone and it's a really good thing. I was taught as a child to, um, close your eyes, go to a dark, you know, put something dark over your eyes and to use your hands, your, your textile experiences and your smell and your taste um, your hearing and 
experience life as a blind person. So I know what I'm doing. I know my house. I don't know when my dog sleeps in the hallway, though. So I have to shuffle my feet. Um, I don't see very well when something's on white, like these little stickers I showed you. I don't really know exactly what's there because the white gets bleached out from the cataract. So I do have difficulty with seeing resin when I uh, try to uh, measure it out and pour it and such because it's a clear, but um, so you see this is a white bottle. This comes out clear. I can see the clear part here, but when it's in the cups, getting poured into the cups, I can't see that linear line. So um, I have to close my right eye and squint with my left uh, in order to see what I've got poured. So it's a little difficult, yes, um, but I'm getting there. Uh, yes, I do get down the dumps over it once in a while because I really love my crafting. And time is what's the problem here, is the time it takes to save all that money up, $3,500 to $4,000 per eye. And so maybe in Mar February or March when my tax return comes in, um, I'll have close to enough for one eye. And uh, I'm hoping to save enough by then to be able to go ahead and make the appointment to go ahead and get my right eye taken care of, get that cataract removed. Um, that way, my eye that was the good eye in the first place could return back to being good and be able to uh, you know, um, allow me to see much better. Uh, and then I'll have the left eye done when I can. And I'm going to hope that they can get rid of uh, on the cornea, I have scratches from an accident I had when I was seven years old that uh, left scratches on my cornea pretty good. So, I, you know, I've dealt with that part all my life. But wouldn't it be kind of nice if they could get rid of that part? You know, get rid of all those little things that look like little gnats. Every little once in a while, the light will be just right on that eye or on something I'm looking at. And I'll see this little black dot. And every, of course, when you move your eye to look at things, the dot moves too. So you think it's a gnat, you keep slapping at it and... Ever since the right eye did what it did with the cataract, now that little spot is like much more pronounced and it's really starting to drive me nuts. But anyway, thank y'all for watching, sticking around, listening to my bull crap, putting up with my, you know, mm -hmm. anyway, and uh, to you subscribers, I wish we could all live in the same area because I'm really sure so many of us would be such great friends and all the fun we could have crafting together. That would be beautiful. And then we could, you know, support each other emotionally as well. Especially for, you know, the lonely people like myself that is married but not married. And, you know, I rarely get a conversation at all out of the other human that lives here. And so, yes, I talk to you on my videos. And, boy, my poor fur babies, they get earfuls all the time. And I appreciate having had them for as long as I've had them. And they're aging out. And it's getting time that pretty much all of them are going to go soon. Except for the new baby, Salem. I hope we can get him um, taken care of. Because I really love that little boy. Um, and then, of course, oh my gosh, this is, uh, this video will be going up for the 11th. No, it won't. It'll be going up tonight on the 10th. So, uh, in one month and 21 days, uh, no, in 28 plus 21 days, oh my gosh. Anyway, my oldest dog, Zeus, will be 14 years old. So, his brother Apollo's already passed away in July, and yeah, that was a hardcore hit, and I'm going to hate losing Zeus as well. But Zeus was supposed to be my husband's dog. Never was, though, because he doesn't like dogs. So um, both boys have always been my boys. But anyway, yes, I'm rattling on as usual. Love you all. You know, if you haven't subscribed and you've been here before, or if this is your first time, please consider subscribing. I am trying to reach that 1,000 milestone of subscribers so that I could get monetized to help build that money for getting my, my eyes repaired. Excuse my hiccup. It's going to happen again. But um, I, I appreciate you. You're, you're just... Sometimes 
our online friends are our family. And for me, there are a lot of you that are. And I love y'all. So anyway, um, comment below. If you need a link to something, please say so in the comments. And I will put that link, if it's still available, into the description box. And I will reply to your comment that it's there. All right. Peace out, everybody.